channel. So today is a pretty chill video. Um, we're going to have a little ColourPop haul. A few weeks ago, I kind of like had like this shopping thing come over me and I jumped on ColourPop because I only have like one or two items that are ColourPop uh, before this and I just hear rave reviews like one of my really good friends that I work with is constantly like, oh my god, how do you not have more ColourPop stuff? Like, this is amazing. So I'm like, okay. And I jumped on there, and I found all these palettes, and I am really, really excited to show you guys everything that I got. Um, the ColourPop price point is really amazing. Like, they're uh, very affordable. And the couple things that I do have by them, I think I have... Um, I have a gel eyeliner, which I love, and I have their Monster Highlighter. It's like a pink, like, jelly kind of highlighter. Like, it's not liquid, but it's not powder. Like, it's like this jelly, and it's awesome because you can, like, pack it on your, um, you can pack it on your cheek, and then I use, like, another pink highlighter over it, usually, like, a white pink, like, a, from, like, Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Moonchild palette. Like, if I take that pink heart one and put it over it, it's, like, bam, pink highlight. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. It's really awesome. I've had it for, like, over a year, and it hasn't dried out or anything. Um, so I have always wanted to dabble a little bit more into ColourPop, so I just kind of was like, well, I guess I'm just going to do it. And they've been coming out with all these super colorful palettes. Um, and they were like $12, I think, per palette. So, I mean, just ridiculous. And then I had um, a 10% off coupon for being like the first time that I ordered. So, um, I got this all for a really good price and I got like a lot of eyeshadow. So, I wanted to share it with you guys and just show you all the different palettes. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you as well. And then I'll probably do some looks with them and throw them up on Instagram. So go ahead and grab a snack, grab a drink, and snuggle up and get ready to check out these eyeshadows from ColourPop. Alright, so it came to me in this big plain white box. Pretty sizable. I like that they put the fragile all over it because, oh, I swear, I don't know what these male people are doing sometimes, but like, it's not all the time, but I get broken stuff. Like, my candles that I order a lot of times from Bath & Body Works, I get at least one broken candle. Like, my last two orders, a candle has been broken. So, I don't know if that's Bath & Body Works' fault or if that's the post office's fault or whatever. But I like that they put Fragile on it because it's eyeshadow. And I really don't want it, like, Ace Ventura style getting, like, kicked down the, <laughs> getting, like, kicked down the driveway like he does in the beginning. Like, not that I think that they do that, but... It's just when I think of that and I see the fragile sticker, it reminds me of that part in Ace Ventura. If you haven't seen Ace Ventura, you need to. It's literally like one of the funniest movies ever. Both of them are hilarious. I think the first one's funnier, but they're both, they're so funny. They're classics. All right. So, boom, here's the box. Open it up. We've got some packaging. Some more, some more packaging. Wow, they really, they like Fort Knox to this thing. I love it. Wow, look at that. So first layer of packaging, second layer of packaging, and then each of the palettes are individually bubble wrapped. Good job, ColourPop. I appreciate you. I really do because it is a real pain to like, when you're so excited for something and you get it and it's broken, it's like the biggest letdown. I love shopping online and getting stuff in the mail because it's like Christmas. So yes, the palettes were, let's see here. I don't have the, inv I have the invoice, but it doesn't, like it doesn't have prices on it. I wanted to double check that price for you. So maybe it'll be at the bottom. All right. So this cute, look at this cute little mailer. Resting beach face. <laughs> I love it. And this is my Resting Witch Face Hocus Pocus shirt. Um, I actually filmed two videos back to back. I just changed my makeup around. And I was going to change my shirt around so it looked like two totally different videos. But I forgot and we're here. And I'm not going to re-record because that's stupid. So I hope you like this shirt. I like it. And I'll drop the Etsy shop below. Because like, come on, it's so cute. 
if you like Hocus Pocus like I do, then you're awesome. All right, so I did order one of the Super Shock eyeshadows. Like, I just ordered one because I kind of was like, okay, if I get more than one, I'm going to get all of them. So I just wanted to try one out and see, like, how I liked it. And I got this one. I got, it's called Ice Dream. Yep, Ice Dream Super Shock eyeshadow. And I like these white eyeshadows because I think they're perfect for the brow bone. And I love how they make, and you can use them as a highlighter and on the inner corner too. I love how they make looks pop. And so I like to get the colors that are like the white but shift green, white but shift blue, purple, pink, um, so that they go with all the different looks. Like I have actually a highlighter in my brow bone today and that's Anastasia Beverly Hills Pink Heart. Um, this is a... Ice Dream is a white shadow with like a, it's got like a pink, like almost a holographic shift, like pink, but like with some purple in there too. There's like some blue. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay. So this is a lot like, I did not know this. This is a lot like the uh, monster highlighter. Like it's not a, um, like a powder, but it's also not wet either so if you can see like I was actually pretty surprised but it's like really like kind of moist let's see here let's do a nice little swatch right here so I don't know if you can see that I'm really really pale so maybe not but that oh, look at that that is like ice dream was pretty much a perfect name for it because I was thinking that let's I'm obsessed with this. I am so excited for this. Come on, look at that. That's gorgeous. All right, so very excited so far. And Super Shock Shadows, probably gonna be picking more up. Sorry, pocketbook. I'm gonna put these on the floor. Like, I don't have a table in front of me or anything because I have my tripod and it's like right directly into my face because I think that that's easier to not only talk to you, but also to show swatches, so. All right, so first palette that I picked up, and look how they're individually wrapped, too. They really wrapped these bomb. Like, the wrapping, I appreciate it. I, like, can't say that enough. I keep saying that, but it's... Okay, so these were, like, 12 bucks, um... The packaging is adorable. This is the Orange You Glad palette. Orange You Glad. And I like how they did a bunch of them in the different colors because that that makes it easy to create looks and stuff because I hate having to bounce from palette to palette. All right, so here we go. Out of the package, Orange You Glad. There you go. You can see a little bit better without my ring light reflecting on it. Ooh. Ooh, wow. And it's got a mirror in it. I didn't take that. Like, let me take, like, the... I can't really... I don't have any nails, but it has, like, that... It's an actual mirror, but it just has that, like, protective covering. So here is that palette. I'm so excited for this. Like, I literally... Oh, this was a good purchase. This was definitely a good buy. Um, yeah. So I'm definitely most drawn to these two colors, like that Clementine. It's got kind of like, like chunky glitter. And this is like a bright matte orange. And you don't see a lot of those. I love how complimentary these colors are. Let me go ahead. Here we go. Wow. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you. So the colors are Zested, Squeeze Me, Creamsicle, Rise and Grind, Clementine, Sunkissed, Tangerine Dreams, sorry, Mimosa Mommy, and You Peel Me. <laughs> Cheeky, I like it. All right, let me, I'm going to go ahead and just swatch the whole palette right here on my hand. Okay, so this is what the swatches look like. Let me, let me back up. Can y'all see that? Okay, so I'll hold the palette up to it as well. I did it in order. Um, the one thing that actually surprised me was that middle color, and I don't know why it surprised me, but that middle color Clementine, 
that is um it's just a pressed glitter so there's no like real color behind it like here let me I'm gonna try to chunk it up a little bit there we go you can see it a little bit better but I mean it's still beautiful but there's no like real color behind it but I'm pretty obsessed with this palette already like I can't wait orange like and this is such a good transition into fall too because like orange can be worn really awesome in the summer and in the fall so yep orangey glad definitely an a plus on this palette pretty excited so the next palette that we have is the purple palette and it's called it's my pleasure let's open it up all right and so the same it's my pleasure and these are probably going to be all pretty similar inside as far as like yep there's the mirror look at that palette oh that's gorgeous i love purple and i like how purple can sometimes be warm and it can sometimes be cool toned as well that is really pretty so the colors are kittenfish do or doe pretty cruel bare minimum earth shine chiclet mr sandman fan fiction and sleeper ah so gorgeous okay so this palette has three mattes five shimmers and one like matte with glitter here are the swatches for that and they are in order so yeah looking good I'm pretty excited for this this one's really really gorgeous I can see a lot of like Halloween looks going on all right so the next one I picked up is the ooh la la palette and this is going to be a pink base palette Ooh la la, so cute. And all right, let's open this up. Same concept as all the rest. Wow. See this kind of, if you can't tell, I'm sort of a fan of pink. I use the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, by the way, for this look. And this is Jeffree Star Dream House. That's so gorgeous. So it looks to be that there are so there's like two really shimmery ones and then two ones that are shimmery but but not as shimmery as the other ones like these almost look like pressed pigments versus like shimmery eyeshadows and then there's one, two, five mattes so if you like colorful mattes like this is a really good one to go with we have tickled soft core poodle Big sh big sugar, opulent, sandbar, trove, caddy, and moonstruck. Oh, that reminds me of that movie with Cher in it. That's such an old movie, but it's such a good movie. Okay, so here are the swatches. Um, the only one in this palette that I felt didn't swatch that well is this one right here. And this one is called Trove. I felt like that didn't really swatch that well. Um, I haven't tried it on my eyes yet, so don't quote me. But I, I had to. I definitely had to swatch that one a couple times. Whereas the other ones are like one. I mean, just one swipe. But that one, and it's it's this one right here. So that one I did kind of have to build upon a little bit. But overall, I'm pretty impressed so far. Like the price point and the quality. I'm mad at myself for not trying ColourPop sooner. All right, so I think this one was definitely the one that I'm most excited about. And that's actually kind of weird because yellow is my least favorite color. But this one kept selling out, so I was like, hmm. And then I saw some, like, really bomb looks with this palette. Like, going through Instagram, people have done an amazing, amazing job with this palette. And, like, yellow? Like... I might become a fan after this but this palette was sold out for a while and so I waited until this came back in stock to 
pick all these up. And this is the Uh Huh Honey palette. So if you have been on Instagram and if you follow ColourPop, you know. You already know about this palette. And I think Uh Huh Honey, that's from like that Kanye West song where Kim Kardashian's like on the motorcycle. I'm a huge Kanye West fan. Like I know people like, some people like, I feel like you either love or hate Kanye West and I am a huge fan of his. I've been a huge fan of his since college dropout. Um, I just think he's a lyrical genius. Um, I know that he's like, he can be like a bit weird, but... I mean, can't we all be a bit weird? I mean, he's married to Kim Kardashian. He's got to be doing something right. Okay, so let me show you the inside of the palette. Oh, bam. Let me try. I'm trying to not get that. There we go. That's a little bit better without the glare from the ring light in the mirror. I am shook right now. I said I was the most excited for the orange palette. Mm, this is definitely giving the orange palette a run for their money. So we have Stinger, Sunburst, Sweet Spot, Dandy, Palooza, Queen Bee, Totally Buggin', Oh Behave, and Buzzkill. And it looks like there is a pressed glitter, just like in the orange one, um, and that's going to be Palooza. And then there are three satins and five mattes. So again, if you're a big matte fan, a colorful matte fan, this is your girl right here. Okay, so here is the swatches, and I'll put them up next to the palette so you can see all the different ones. Look at that glitter swatch right there. Can we just take a moment? Come on. This palette swatched the best out of the ones that I've been through so far. I am, I am incredibly, incredibly amazed. Um, if you only get one of these palettes, and like, I'm going to say this right now, even though I haven't been through the rest of them, if you only get one of these palettes, get this one. Not only is it unique, but it's swatched better than all the other ones. Now the other ones swatched great except for that one. Don't get me wrong, but this just the swatches on these were insane. I mean like get this one. If you only get one, get this one. Okay. So the next one is going to be the main squeeze palette and this is going to be the red based palette. Um they also have another one that's like a, a red pink and it's a strawberry shake palette and I didn't get that. I didn't see that. For some reason, I like completely passed by it and didn't get it, but I've seen it on Instagram and I'm like in love with it. Like there's one of the like white shadows that has the shift that is so beautiful. So I have a little bit of FOMO on that. I can't believe I just like completely passed by it. But this is like watermelon theme. Like oh, that's so freaking cute. Come on. And let's take her out of the package main squeeze here we go there I'm trying to show you guys but not blind you with my ring light and it has like the cute little watermelon thing going on which is it's still summer even though I'm wearing my hocus pocus shirt because I'm ready for it to just I'm ready to wake up and it magically be fall but I know we have a few more weeks so here she is so this is a red based palette um, <clears throat> I don't see any true reds in here like this is a, like a like a reddish pink palette there's no true reds in here like um, Jeffree Star has some true reds like in his blood sugar palette and then also in the jawbreaker palette um, there is a true red so no true reds in here which I mean I'm obsessed with it but it like, gets a little bit disappointing because it is like their red palette but there's no I don't know I think I think they should come out with another red palette and just have like a ton of like like really good like true reds like from the lightest to like vampy reds and like red glitter that'd be bomb color pop you should do that for Halloween I think that'd be bomb 
<clears throat> All right, so here's the names. It's going to be Froze, Juicy Fruit, Home Slice, Like It's Hot, Maraschino, Big Gulp, Seed Money, Baywatch, and Red Bottoms. Okay, so I went ahead and swatched. Here you go. And then I will, I will line them up right here. Then you can kind of see the bottom, top, bottom. So the mats, um, they were actually a lot redder than I thought they would be. Still no like true red, but definitely a lot um, redder than I thought they were gonna be. They look pretty pink in the pan, but like this color, which one was it? Home Slice, like this one up here, and this one, the Like It's Hot, those were a lot redder, like I'll show you. It's gonna be this one and this one. Um, a lot redder, a lot redder than I thought they were gonna be. So I see how they call this the red palette, I get it. And this one has one, two, three, four, five mattes and four shimmers. So here's another look at that gorgeous beauty. So the next palette is gonna be the green palette, just my luck, of course. You can't have a green palette and not have a shout out to Plucky, Shamrocks, Ireland, etc. I'm 62% Irish, so duh, I had to get this. And here we are. Like the writing is just so cute. The packaging quality is amazing, and these shadows so far have been incredible. Um, I'm a fan for life. Like honestly, like bearing that the next four palettes are absolutely horrible, which. Um, I'm gonna take a stab in the dark. They're gonna be amazing just like the other ones. Kind of a fan for life, Colourpop. Ooh, wow. Look at that middle one, Mary Jane. I'm obsessed. Like this is awesome. This is like spring and fall right here. And then you have that like bam, like that could be summer. I'm a fan. All right, so you have the names are going to be Chances Are, Kiss My Hass, 50-50, Big Banks, Mary Jane, All of You, Act Natural, Mo Bamba, and Charmed. And they have, let's see here. So this one has two of those like it's like a matte shadow but like with glitters in it and I'm not 100% sure what that's like called or anything but it's like matte but it does have like some some glitter in it I know that seems like it's a it's like it doesn't make sense but I like see right here like it's like a matte but then there's glitter in it and okay so there's two of those and then there's three mattes and four shimmers all right so here's the swatches for the love of all things green. Wow. So this green color right here, the Kiss My Hass, had a lot of fallout. But I mean, look at that. That's literally, that's like one stroke. One stroke, that's it. I didn't have to take it in the pan at all. Um, but it did have a lot of fallout, but whatever. I do my foundation last anyway. So I think that those colors are called satin, the ones that are matte with glitter. I'm reasonably sure they're called satin, but look at that. Wow. Okay. I'm obsessed. I literally, I can't wait to play with these. So the next one is gonna be Blue Moon, and this is gonna be the blue base palette, duh. Ugh, oh, how cute is that? I just really, honestly, like I'm so shocked like I slept on color pop like that was my bad never again and here's what it looks like sorry try not to blind you with my ring lights there you go here's what it looks like from the front and oh my god come on I'm gonna put the mirror down so I'm not blinding you I love blue base palettes. Like I really do like Jeffree Star's blue blooded blue blooded palette. I'm obsessed with. And this like, oh, look at that color. Tide pool right there. 
Okay, so it's going to be Lumi, Daba D, Moonlight, Starry Eyed, Billie Jean, Tide Pool, which is like standing out to me so much, Mad About You, Fine China, and Clued In. I'll give you more of an up close look there. All right, so it's going to be four shimmers four mattes and then one of the satin colors like the matte with the with the glitter in it so here are the swatches so that color that cornflower blue at the top the color daba d i um was not a huge fan of how it swatched it did seem a little bit streaky like you can see it up there in the middle the top row in the middle but all the other colors are super bomb i'm trying to give you the best swatches possible and that tide pool was of course like so silky so smooth and just pops like crazy there we go there we go you can see it now. but yeah so it was kind of like that other color that i didn't like the trove or whatever it just it was like a little bit streaky but i'm sure that it's buildable so blue moon palette love it so i couldn't get a bunch of like color themed palettes and not get a brown palette um, brown is definitely my color. My hair is naturally chocolate brown. So whenever I go back, oh, and speaking of which, my hair, it's a hot mess right now. Please ignore it. I am in the middle of lightening it so I can go back, um, a teal color. And I am going to have a video on that and how I do that. Um, but that's why it looks so crazy and weird right now. But, so this is going to be the brown sugar palette. It's so cute. Like, oh, it's camo. I love camo. I'm a sucker for anything camo. Alright. Oh, it's, I went to go like wipe it off, but it's actually glitter inside the palette, if you can see. It's called Brown Sugar, and it has that like 70s disco situation going on. Ugh, yes. So I have like all pretty much every like brown palette that comes out because I'm just I'm obsessed and um this is no exception look at how beautiful I just feel like honestly like a brown palette like brown brings out my eyes and like my natural features I think it brings it out the best and probably because I am dark haired but like palettes like these with these kind of color scapes are my favorite and they're like staples for me like, I like the color, don't get me wrong. I mean, you can, I have hot pink eyeshadow and lipstick on. I'm, I'm not worried about trying something different, but like an old faithful kind of situation, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the darker brown. Okay, so these have, this palette has six mattes and three shimmers. Pretty basic. I like how many mattes there are in this kind of a palette because when it comes to browns, like, you don't need a whole bunch of shimmers. Like, you need way more mattes than you need shimmers. Like, you want the shimmer to be the accent color on the lid, like, but you don't need a whole bunch of shimmer colors. So, six, shim uh, six mattes, three shimmers. And here are, here's the swatch. Nope, I did that upside down. <laughs> there we go. It matches now. These were all one swipe. Come on. I can't wait to play with this. Hello, Fall. How are ya? Brown sugar. Pretty excited. And last but most assuredly not least is the Mar palette. Um, this palette stood out to me because it was not, it, it it didn't stick to color schemes. Like it has like a blue, like you'll see, but it didn't stick to color seams. Like it seemed more like it was a, like a summery, like neutral, but like to throw in a little bit of color. I'll just have to show you. I don't know, it's hard to describe. So here we go. Here's the front of it, Mar. All right. So it's like a blue and brown palette which I thought was pretty unique and I'm obsessed with that turquoise. Like turquoise is my favorite color, which is why I dye my hair that color. I'm obsessed with this color. I mean, I just like saw that on the website and I was like, wow. Like I just, 
I don't know of many other palettes that look like this that have blues and browns together that are complimentary. So I had to get this like. And this one has one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five shimmers, one satin, and three matte. And this is like a, look at that coppery orange. Coppery orange and that blue. Big Denver Broncos fans and Florida Gators fans in this house. So I see this palette getting a lot of use. All right, so the names are El Rey, Wild One, Detour, Boozy, Gridlock, Sorbet, Highway, Top Down, and My Way. Highway, top down, my way. Nice. I like that they're obviously talking about Usher. Alright. And here are the swatches. I'm in love. It's fine. No big deal. I'm just super in love with an eyeshadow palette. This is just as amazing as I thought it was going to be. Look at that color. And then after I swatched it, like how the light hits it. Oh, come on. So these palettes, look how cute they look, and they're so small too. So these palettes um, retail for $12 on the ColourPop website, and if you sign up for their emails, you'll get 15% off of your first uh, purchase, which is what I did. Um, Y'all, these are a great buy. Like, I'm so serious, get some. If you need to start like an eyeshadow collection, um, this is a really good way to go. And if you just want to buy them and you have too much eyeshadow anyway, girl, I feel you because I have a whole bunch. And here's, um, what, nine more? Nine more? Yeah, nine more. Not a big deal. All right, so these are going to go for $12. And then the Super Shock Shadow that I only bought one of, but will certainly be purchasing more of these because of how amazing it was, was $6.00. And this one has 2.1 grams, um, which is 0 0.07 of an ounce in there. So, uh, final thoughts. I am, I am shook. Like, I am shook. Like, I really slept on ColourPop for a long time. Like, I have a really good friend at work, and she lives and dies by ColourPop. Like, she swears by it. Um, and I just kind of slept on it for a while, because... To be honest and like not to sound like snobby because I'm in no way that way. Like I love that they're twelve dollars, but I was like, they're twelve bucks. I mean, like how good how good could it be, you know? And like color uh eyeshadow is actually really hard um to make. Like I think most anybody could make like a neutral palette and it could be halfway decent, but colored eyeshadow is actually really hard to make. Um but I I'm definitely glad that I, I took the uh the step and and purchase these because they are they're incredible and I'm gonna be creating some new looks with them and I will throw them up on Instagram um, and I think I'm just gonna go for it I'm just gonna like at random pick one palette every week and put a look up and there you go so if you're still here I appreciate you stopping by my channel and checking out my ColourPop haul and I'll see you on the next one have a good day